Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see the architecture differences between Kafka and RevitMQ. In the RevitMQ architecture, the producer sends the messages to the RevitMQ broker, although initially the messages are handled in the exchange. The exchange then uses routing line bindings to redirect the messages to the queues. So the types of rerouting from exchange to the queues can be either direct or topic based or fan out based. Once the messages reaches the appropriate queues and then the consumers can consume from there the respective queues. Please note we can have a single consumer or a group of consumers consuming messages from a queue. The Kafka architecture is however little different. In Kafka, the producer directly publishes the messages to the Kafka brokers and these messages are retained in partitions within the Kafka broker. The consumers can start consuming the messages from the Kafka brokers and the consumer can be a single consumer or it can be a group of consumers. Apart from that, Kafka also has a concept of stream processes whereas a consumer after consuming a message might do some additional data mutation or data processing and it can decide to write back the modified data again back to another Kafka topic and this is achieved by using stream processors. Additionally, if the if the data has to be exchanged between a Kafka broker or a database, then that can be achieved using Kafka connectors. This is the basic simple architecture differences between Kafka and RabbitMQ. Thank you for watching. Consider to like, share and subscribe.